Today in Key West History is a proud member of the Florida Keys Podcast Network. From ancient writings, we've always known that leprosy had a stigma that many other diseases never have. Highly contagious and rife with gross symptoms that could be hard for the non-afflicted to stomach, those with leprosy have always been isolated, more so than treated. Leper colonies were created to help contain the disease and put it out of the public view. In a 1955 article called Leprosy in the United States, Dr. L.F. Badger documented the pockets of leprosy within the United States. After looking at the data, it was determined that the majority of U.S. cases of leprosy occurred within just a few small communities. One of the communities with leprosy occurrences was Key West. Within Florida, only 11 out of 67 specific counties had reported incidences within a period of 33 years. One county stood out with a larger than typical concentration of the disease. That was Monroe County, which comprises the entirety of the Florida Keys. But it wasn't the entire Keys that had reports of the disease. It was mainly Key West. During this measurable period, the state of Florida reported 137 cases of leprosy. Of those 137 cases, almost half of them were located in Monroe County. There were 96 patients who were born in Florida, and just under 45% of them resided in Key West at the time they were diagnosed. With a little more digging and poring over the case histories of the 96 patients in Key West with leprosy, it was determined that 78 of those patients probably contracted leprosy while they were living in Key West. The rest of those patients most likely contracted the disease outside of Key West and could have brought the disease back to the city. This little discussed part of Key West history is interesting in that when you look at the location within the city where leprosy patients lived, it was determined that 65 of the patients diagnosed actually resided within the city limits of Key West. But what's even more surprising is that 56 of those 65 patients lived in what is known as Old Town Key West. And a further concentration of 39 diagnosed patients lived within a five square block area of Old Town Key West. This highest concentration area was the residential area that fronts what we refer today as the Key West Bite. It's never been well documented what could have caused this outbreak of leprosy within Key West, but the location of the diagnosed patients does seem to support the fact that they could have been exposed by other travelers and people coming in and out of the ships coming out of the bite. But the location of the diagnosed patients does seem to support the fact that they could have been exposed by other travelers and ships coming in and out of the bite. And it was today, March 18th, 1909 that a man died of leprosy in a house on Virginia Street, which would have been in the outermost part of the affected area of the city. The house and all of the contents were destroyed by fire under the direction of Fire Chief Fulford. And that's what happened today in Key West history. Today in Key West history is brought to you by 43 Keys Media, To learn more about our glorious and interesting past here in the Florida Keys, you can visit us at 43keys.com. This program, as well as others, is available as an Alexa Flash Briefing. It's available on YouTube, and it's available anywhere you listen to your podcast. So wherever you're listening, subscribe and give us a thumbs up and never miss an episode. Today in Key West History is a proud member of the Florida Keys Podcast Network.